Hello Aquarians and cross watchers. Welcome to your video. So I'm just cleaning a little bit here with some Palo Santo before I start the video. I channeled a song by Babyface and it's called When Can I See You Again. I feel like I've channeled this song before but it's what came into my mind when I was trying to find um, figure out which was the the next reading to come out. It came out in my mind after meditation this morning so maybe this is someone's song if i've channeled this before maybe somebody you know is sending you this song in their mind maybe someone hasn't seen you they want to see you because it's you know when can i see you again so i'll put the song with the lyrics in the description box below um i've already said my prayers and i'm going to open up with a shamanic healing oracle and i want to be the first to say to you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and i want to thank you all for being here and sharing your time and your energy with me i value you the divine values you and thank you so much for being here this is the only card that's face up and it's masculine energy so some of you might have a yang energy who is really missing you um yang energy is just that it's energy it's not attached to gender so just keep in mind it's the yang energy um somebody might not be able to um, wrap their mind around never seeing you again and in the pre-shuffle I had got the inner journey so I believe a lot of you are working on yourself your inner journey and someone's missing you wow we have duality yin and yang right there and um, I'm going to see if anything else wants to come out but like I said I do feel strongly that you have a divine counterpart it came out again anyways this card wanted to come out we have transformation all right i feel like somebody is changing and it could be you because like i said i did get in the pre-shuffle inner journey i believe that your inner journey is a cause for your change but maybe now that you're not focused on whoever this is that's missing you maybe there's some changes starting to happen within themselves and this card did want to come out and it's masculine energy it's card 16 and it you know one plus six is seven which is the chariot and we have duality yin and yang which is 26 which six plus two is eight and that talks about infinity all right life cycles things that go on they never end and we have death and here it is transformation and my throat wants to block up now I really feel that is a masculine energy I feel like there's a masculine who wants to say something and I feel that they're at a loss for words and I feel that they're changing but maybe a lot of what they want to say is in the song that I channeled okay when can I see you again maybe they really want to say something I don't know we're gonna get into the tarot if you're still here at the end of the video we're gonna close out with a love oracle I haven't used these in a while we'll close out with a love oracle though so I'm going to be using the um, Witch's Tarot or Everyday, no, I think it's Witch's Tarot, I don't know. But anyway, I have the mini deck and the full size deck and that's what we're going to use right now. So I'm going to do past, present, future because I'm curious to know the energy between you and this person in the past. Um, and then I want to know, well, I'm going to know, all of, I want to know about their energy. I want to know their energy towards you in the past. What was this person's energy toward Aquarius in the past? What was this person's energy towards Aquarius in the past? Two more shuffles. What was this person's energy toward Aquarius in the past? Now it can come out recent past. It can come out past past. All right. It's not. It's about their perception of their energy towards you, not your perception of them. Ten of Wands. They're burdened by something here. That's a heavy load, okay? Because Ten of Cups reverse and Eight of Pentacles reverse. They're heavily burdened by not focusing on this with you because I feel that you brought a lot of happiness to the table or maybe there is an option to, you know, uh, be a family with you, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. That's the only card that wanted to come out. So I'm feeling that this is the recent past this person is feeling these emotions from this song when can i see you again and heavily burdened heavily burdened tell me about the ten of wands 
Maybe you even moved away. Who knows? Tell me about this. Two of Wands talks about the distance and travel. And Queen of Wands. Okay, now this Queen of Wands came face down. So that talks about Aries, Leo, Sag. It also talks about... I don't like to use the word karmic because we're all somebody's karmic, right? No, there's nobody here. There's no uh, nobody here that's free of that energy. We at some point in our life we're someone's karmic, but it's this energy of um, I feel somebody went into another direction. They're heavily burdened by it, but they had to learn a lesson. Ultimately, is what it's saying here. Yeah, we have. Aquarius on the upright and we have the three of swords in the reverse. I feel like you went on to heal yourself. I feel like you went on to focus on your dreams, things that, that, that bring you happiness, okay? And I feel that a lot of you feel like this person was a lesson. They taught you a lesson. Maybe they triggered your awakening. Maybe they were a catalyst in some way. Maybe they triggered you to go on some sort of inner journey because that came out. But whatever it is, okay... Whatever it is, if you're looking at them as like, well, you had a lesson to learn, you learned something from them. But I feel here in the recent past, they're heavily burdened by it because they chose, basically, it's just easier to say they chose a karmic path. They chose a path that they had to learn something. And now I feel, um, you know, they didn't focus on the Ten of Cups with you. They didn't, they didn't focus on a family life. This could be a person who just focused on things in the physical world, okay, that brought them short-term gratification is what I want to say. So let's get into the current energy of this person, the current energy of this person. This wants to come out and I'm not even, yeah, they want to return. They're not happy at all. <laughs> all right. So tell me the current energy of this person. Tell me the current energy of this person. Yeah. This, this is strongly a person who, they could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. They don't have to have Earth in their chart. But this is a person now where they might have been focused on the worldly things. Now they really wanted the, the family life or the forever life, okay, or long term with you. They were not focused on that before. Now they are. So now it's like, when can I see you again? And I feel like they're not doing too well. They might even be trying to write. This is a three of pentacles. This person might be spending time alone or they could be at work or wherever the three of pentacles this is usually a card of three but this is only just one person in their pet in this case their cat but it's like somebody wants to say something here anything else for the current energy before i clarify okay yeah they're, they're sad and they're regretful. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, okay, serves them well. But I'm just reading the energy. I'm not, I'm not biased here. I'm just, I'm reading the energy. Yeah, this is clearly a person, okay. Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, this Knight of Wands, this is the person who just wanted to date and, and, and be in short-term connections, not long-term connections, in and out, be inconsistent. Now they're thinking about the long haul, the long-term and now this is where you come into play. They're thinking about you. You are now the wish fulfillment. All right. This is them thinking about you. So they're thinking about not wanting to be the way they were before. They're very sad, very regretful. Could be watching you on the internet because this person looks like they're spying. But this is the world card. So it can be my world wide web. But we also have, you know, Aquarius. Scorpio, um, Taurus, and Leo for this energy. It's fixed. But I feel like someone is sad and sort of like spying on you on the internet. That's just what I feel like here. Let's clarify the current energy. The current en energy being the King of Pentacles. So I'm going to clarify that first. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody possibly of affluence. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Yeah, two of pentacles. 
this is a person who perhaps liked to juggle others and now they're thinking about that. This might be a person who, like I said, they chose another life. Three of Cups reverse, four of, four of Wands reverse. This is someone who might have, it just seems like they wanted to date or be with other people. They didn't want to be serious, live with anyone. Um, give me another card for that Two of Pentacles. They're trying to de determine and decide right now. Tell me about that. So we have here again um, a card of Virgo and Aquarius. So literally you might be dealing with one and we have Gemini. So we have Gemini, Virgo, and Aquarius. We have a very close connection. We have a decision that someone is trying to make right here. Um, if anybody believes in TFs, okay, this is one of my cards to support that along with the Four of Wands. But this here is someone who comes out that you haven't seen in a while, but you're the one here also, neither one of you, it's like you're both, neither one of you have seen each other, it's like, when can I see you again? So one person is willing to come out of hermit mode, we have Virgo here, um, but it's like, okay, Aquarius is also in the reverse, the star card, and the wish fulfillment is this, can I see you? They really do just, they want to see you again. I feel like you've touched them in, in some kind of way. I don't know who this person is for you or to you. But literally, um, this is a person who wants to see you again. Okay, whether romantic or not, because I know some of you are dealing. I know there are some Aquarius, Virgo, who are like parent-child situations. But this is a close connection. But I'm... The majority of this energy is not parent-child. I'm going to just make that very, very clear. The majority of this energy is somebody who is very inconsistent. Um, this is somebody who's showing up, like I said. I don't know if you believe in TFs or not, but this, this is a strong indication of yin and yang, divine masculine energy, all right? So um, wanting to reconnect. Again, their lifestyle was that of such. Maybe they like to, you know, drink and party and just be with whoever. And they might have overdone it. Okay, Nine of Cups Reverse can be as someone who was overindulgent in a lifestyle. Tell me about the King of Wands in the Reverse. Tell me about the King of Wands in the Reverse. Tell me about the King of Wands. They really want that connection with you. Okay. This is a person who could have had connections with many people, and now they just want a connection with you. And they're willing to release with that Eight of Swords in the reverse. What they're going to release is this lifestyle. They're thinking about it anyway. They're thinking about releasing that lifestyle just to be in connection with you. Whatever that lifestyle is, it seems like it was too much overindulgent. The bottom of the deck is seven of wands. This person might be might be willing to fight for this now, or wondering if you are. Tell me about the nine of cups in the current energy. Tell me about the nine of cups. Nine of cups reverse. <laughs> um. Okay. I don't. You know. They want to talk to you, okay? They do. They're stuck. I heard frozen. And for some, not for everyone, whatever it is that they want to say, they might have to get into an altered state of mind to say it. Now, I know how people, I've read comments before, well, I... I don't want nobody drunk, drunk texting me. I don't want this or that. You know, they need to be in a straight frame of mind when they talk to me. But this is a person who doesn't know how to say they want to be in a commitment or something like this. Or they want a relationship. And they might have to do, you know, they might have to take the edge off. It's not saying they're getting drunk, but they might... They might be in an altered state of mind to get a little bit of liquid courage. That's their current mind. They could be drinking and thinking, okay? They could be, but it, um, 
that's not for everybody okay the bottom line is they want to see you again the bottom line is they are going through some major changes the death card talks about ending something to rebirth something new and it is definitely divine masculine energy so let's get into the future the near future show me the near future of this person or the song that I channeled when can I see you again this person who's thinking about Aquarius show me the near future please show me the near future energy please oh my god what oh my god okay all right Virgo energy on the bottom knight of Pentacles in the reverse knight of Pentacles is a knight who gets to the finish line but it's also a knight that takes forever but it's in the reverse so when it's in the reverse that means things could speed up okay things won't be at such a snail pace but what also came out is this ten of swords so maybe you feel betrayed by this person or maybe that's what's on this person's mind in the near future okay because when I, the way I read tarot, and this is this is just me personally, you read it, if you read tarot, you read it how you want to, okay? But when I read tarot, if something comes out behind the mind, it's what's on somebody's thoughts. And if it comes out in front of the mind, it's like some action that they plan to do. That's just me. So um, there's an emperor here. It's divine masculine. The emperor is divine masculine. Now, it could be... This is a card that is literally Aries because it just is for astrology. But it doesn't mean you have to be dealing with an Aries because I'll often get comments that say, oh, no, nope, I'm not dealing with none of those signs. Well, I'm going to say this again for those who were asleep in the class. Any person, any sign can embody any energy in these cards. The Emperor. The emperor is a person who's in charge, divine masculine, a business owner, daddy's home, but it don't have to be a male gender, okay? It can be, it's an energy. And the yang energy can be in a male or female body. But it is that energy. And they're looking at family, children here. This emperor is looking at children. Sometimes the emperor is a father. Nine of swords. I told you they're thinking. They're in a lot of thought. Let's. I was not wrong. This ten of swords came out behind them. They're thinking here. Now, I don't know what went on between you and them, but it looks like what went on was they didn't want to have a family life um, like traditional, like a commitment or long term. It looks like they liked playing around playing the field being with who they wanted right that was their choice it doesn't look like they're a bad person just looks like they didn't want to be in a commitment is what it looked like and it looks like for some of you whoever this resonates with they could be changing their mind now you wouldn't know it you wouldn't know it because it looks like they want to speak but you know possibly haven't tell me about the ten of swords tell me about the ten of swords Look at that. It's what you don't see right there. There's a decision that is made. We have the two of swords and the reverse. Okay. And what they're thinking about could be literally having children with you. Having a, a, We have literally the sun. It says they're the sun. Um, and this is a person, you know, like I said, there's Virgo energy here that may have taken a long time to come to this conclusion but it also might be a person that maybe you guys haven't seen each other for a long time as well i don't know or they could just literally be a virgo but somebody does want to see you and talk to you whether it involves children or families or not they they want to talk to you showing up strong strong divine counterpart energy what you don't see Let's find out together. <laughs> well, 
we have some high boundaries here. This is, if this person was some sort of catalyst to you, they would have been a catalyst for you to raise your boundaries because you would have been rejected by this person. So the rejection of this person would have set off um, you in a new path. And this path would be a path of self-love. And I did say in the pre-shuffle, I got inner journey. So your your boundaries are high especially when it comes to any sort of toxic energy so you're not allowing any sort of toxic energy karmic energy devil energy um in your energy anymore okay you're you're pushing that away you are accepting love okay because the queen of swords accepts love she just rejects bullshit basically and that's what's going on here you're rejecting the devil energy so if this person is coming back toxic but I don't feel that's the case. I feel that's what they're thinking about. Because remember, these are their thoughts. And their thoughts are that you're going to reject them because you think they are toxic. Remember, this is all what's on the emperor's mind. So I feel this person wants to come in, but it's been a long time. I feel like they have a hard time communicating what they want to say because I just feel like they have a hard time communicating what they want to say anyway. That is a typical divine masculine stereotype right there. Now I'm not trying to stereotype, but it, it is. It is some. It is sort of like a a mode that they get into. So I feel like they think you're going to reject them because they feel they betrayed you, and they probably did. They're you know. But they're extremely attracted to you sexually. And they're cutting something out. And what they could be cutting out is their player ways, unless they're literally cutting out a Leo. But they could be cutting out their player ways. You know, the King of Wands with the Emperor, I mean, like I say, this is like daddy's home all day long. You know, the King. Um, king of his thing for sure all right whoever this is male or female somebody has um, a lot of sexual energy about them but they have a lot of sexual energy for you but it looks like they're willing to cut this out now there could be an age difference somebody may be willing to come in and wear their heart on their sleeve this is someone now ready to communicate from the heart and be very sincere so I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, this is a general reading. It's a general reading. We're going to close out with a love card. Um, Spirit just told me to ask one more one more question. How how will Aquarius receive this person? How will Aquarius receive this person? I have strong Leo energy, Capricorn energy with the devil. Um, I have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Virgo, Cancer, Aries, and all the other signs that I named prior to this. How will Aquarius accept this person or receive this person? We have the King of Wands. You're attracted to them too. Yeah, you're attracted to them too. Um, but you're not going to you're not going to fall for the sexual energy. So you are attracted to them, but you're not going to fall for the sexual energy. King of Pentacles, if they're in the reverse, if they're coming in um, with the sexual energy, you're not going to pursue it because you're on the inner journey now, right? And, um, but it looks like that, you know, there may be a conversation about this. Like, look, I thought you wanted to be, you know, single. I thought you wanted to explore new things or new people or, you know, you wanted to date and see what was out there. And, and they may say that. They may say, look, I did that. I explored what was out there. And I'll be honest with you. I want a family. That's what I want. So the way you perceive them is they wanted to play around. You see them big time as wanting to play around, play with other people. But what gets exposed to you is they really want family now or to be a family with you because you guys don't have to procreate together. Wow, look at this. Beautiful cards that I'm just seeing right here. So we're going to close out with a bonus card. What wants to come out here? Um, they want to see you again. 
Maybe I'll name that. When can I see you again? New beginning. So, for some of you, this is going to be a brand new beginning with this person. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And we have transformation. And that card is here. So, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And that's what's going on here. All right, a person who wanted to be single, play the field, try new things, new people, that's changing. And you might be seeing them here in the future. Anyway, for those of you who this resonates with, I love you guys. I'll see you in your next reading. And namaste, my friends.